Hey everyone, I'm Clue, and welcome back to Leagues. So we're sort of doing things a little bit out of order. The last video I put out was us making the decision to restart the Leagues account, right? And then, as you can see, I'm close to the second last relic. Now, the, that video has garnered a lot of traction, so big thanks to all of you watching and pumping it up, right? It's, it's done greater than anything else on my channel, which is, you know, fantastic to see. It's a, it's a payoff towards this hobby, which is great. So again, thank you, but it does warrant this video where we're going to do a bit more discussion over my plan. Now, Sonic, the reason I restarted the account, this is a fresh account. I have not played RuneScape in, what, close to two years? I haven't played since last leagues, and even during that, I only played maybe two weeks, maybe a month. It wasn't a lot, and there is obviously a lot new to the game. So I wanted to restart, I wanted to do this, get the Dragon Cup, and then you know, relearn how to play old school, if you will, and, and go for, you know, maxing and all that. Now, Average Man's Journey, right? That's in the title of my videos. The reason I put that there is not a time basis, right? It's not about playing X amount of hours a day. Now, I am doing this as a hobby, so I do play it in my spare time. I don't play it actively as much as, you know, what a lot of people might think is necessary for the Dragon Cup, even though I might play, you know, say six to eight hours, uh, a lot of that is passive, if you will, right? My phone off to the side, doing something like this, where I don't have to interact with the game that much. And then on weekends, I'll play a bit more and I'll, I'll do a lot more of the grindy or, or click intensive things. But so average to me, the reason I've gone with that is because I think that reflects my knowledge basis. Now, I've never maxed an account. I have never done any high level bossing. I've never done any like intensive skill grinds going for the max optimal experience rates to, you know, level to 99 as quick as possible, right? That's just stuff I've never done in old school. So I feel average, if not below average, if you will, in terms of a knowledge basis. So again, average man's journey to me is a reflection of my knowledge, not so much the amount of time or effort I'm putting into playing it. Because obviously going for a drink cup is going to take effort, right? The other big reason I restarted was I was not happy with my relics, I was not happy with my areas, and I wasn't happy with the plan I had made, which was nothing, right? I had no plan going into it, and I think with the proper plan and the proper mentality, a Dragon Cup is still achievable even if you start today. For reference, this is uh, 40 days left of leagues, but we'll go over the plan and the breakdown of why I do think that is possible, but we might as well start off with the areas and relics. So previously I went Karend, Fremnik and Asgarnia. The reason for that was I knew uh, Chambers was, you could do it solo. It's not as designed for solos as I'd found out with Desert, researching it. Desert's sort of similar to uh, a Dungeoneering from looks of it. I might be wrong on that, but overall the Desert raids is built to be solo. So Desert for me then was the, the better pick. And overall, the tasks in the desert are a lot more spread, right? Karen has a lot of high-end tasks versus early tasks. And I just thought the desert would be a smoother journey overall. Plus then it helps out with some of the other skilling grinds uh, due to my, my relic picks. Now in terms of relics, I picked Trickster, Fairy's Flight, Banker's Note, Ruler's Resolve, Treasure Seeker, Farmer's Fortune. I'm going to take Berserker and I'm going to take Undying Retribution. I think these fit my playstyle the best. Very lackadaisic and casual. They're not click intensive, they're not active. Uh, I was considering Weapon Master, but the big first hit is just significantly better for what I want to do than, you know, spamming away at something and watching my health and, and doing all, all the, the fine tuning and min maxing that comes with this. So I do think Berserker is a bit better. Now, uh, the Guardian is probably another valid option because it's just passive damage, but I do like the idea of having that second life if I mess up on bosses as I'm learning or anything like that, or even just nuking bosses right? Have a big first hit from Berserker, die, and then have the Retribution proc to hopefully finish off the boss. I think that's a, a great, a great idea for what or how I should say I want to play the game. Now, in terms of going for the Dragon Cup, we're going to look at the tasks. So, you need 5,600 points. Sorry, 56,000 points. Wrong one, right? So with your three areas, you're going to get close to, oh, that's one too many, is it? Yes, you're going to get close to 100,000. So you need just over, well, it's probably close to say 60%, right, of the points or, well, in rationalizing, it's probably what, like 70%, 80% of the tasks because you will need a lot more of the high-end tasks than the, the early tasks. 
and just the way they sort of even out. But yeah, I do think it is achievable. And I think it's a trifecta, if you will. So skilling is going to play a part. The collection log is going to play a part. And then, of course, bossing is going to play a part. And depending on how heavy you go into any of the other sides of the triangle, you can sort of do one a bit less. So, for instance, if you focus on skilling and maybe the collection log, then you don't have to worry about bossing as much as you might. Now, the other big deterrent that I think for a lot of people is they see YouTube and they see all these people doing, you know, raids, doing bosses, going for these big fancy items and these cool drops. And essentially that makes it appear like that is the way towards a Dragon Cup, right? All the people going for a Dragon Cup are also doing the things that are exciting, uh, able to build hype. And I, there are just easier ways, I believe, to go for the Dragon Cup. Again, skilling. You can get 200 points per 99, 25 mil, 35 mil, and 50 mil. So each skill, you can get 800 points. There are 23 skills, so that's 18,400 points, right? You can get just from maxing. Uh, well, quarter maxing, because it's not 200 mil. But yeah, that's a lot of points. You then throw in all the craft X, make X, do X, that just relate to skilling. Plus then the base levels and get everything to 99, right, or total level, I should say. And you'll probably find that it's it's probably half the Dragon Cup, if not a little bit greater, right, just from skilling. Again, it's that triangle. If you do skilling and the collection log, you could probably get fairly close to the Dragon Cup and then do a little bit of bossing. If you do bossing you, and the collection log, you probably don't have to grind skilling as much. Now, I'm not saying it's easy to get 50 mil in every single skill. I'm probably not going to get 50 mil in agility. I'm not going to actively do agility at all. I'm just going to run around during leagues with my boots on, and that's going to reward me and most likely get me to 99 agility. But obviously, combat-wise, because I picked Asgarnia, I can do pest control. They're going to be insanely easy to max. Uh, thieving, white. As you can see, I'm getting, what, 4 mil. With the multiplier, I'll probably get 5 mil, so 10 hours. And I can I can get that to 50 mil. Right, construction, it's not going to be that hard as long as I have the gold, because it's always a, already a quick sale farming with Farmer's Fortune. is also insanely quick, even without uh, Karen for the, the guild. Right, and all you have to do is get the seeds. There are a lot of skills that you can do passively and quickly that will net you a large chunk of points. So again, it's, it's about working towards those big goals. The other thing to do is to have the correct plan, right? I could go grind mini games, but I don't see any rationale to that. I can get to the four times multiplier. Is it four times or is it eight times? Whatever the multiplier is for the next relic, right? I wanna to get to this before I do any of the big grinds, right? I've gone and played them all once to get the easy points, but I'm not going to sit there and do the grinds until I have the max multiplier. Same with skilling. Thieving is already fairly quick, so I'm fine getting this to 99 just to get my, my relic unlock, right? Overall, if you plan things out, if you follow a cascade, then you are going to have a much easier time. I know it's not a huge difference going from 12 times to 16 times, but in the long run, the amount of time it will save will add up, especially across all the different skills. Same with the mini games. Waiting from uh, the, the six times to get the eight times multiplier is going to shave off a lot of time. So as long as you plan things out and rationalize them, I do think the Dragon Cup is possible even for someone who's not going to go and do the really intensive grinds. Now, the other big bit of advice, if you were to start today, and I really regret not taking more advantage of this, I would rush Treasure Seeker and not unlock a single area. I would do all the clue scrolls and get everything done or as much as you possibly can, right? I know clue scrolls are going to be a little bit hard because, uh, well, bossing is probably the easiest way to get them or I guess slayer, but you'll get a decent amount through skilling. It, it's not that hard to get the, the beginner log done, the easy log and probably the medium log done, right? Because if you're locked to just Karamja and Mistelin, it is a lot quicker to go through clue scrolls, right? I did it. I got a huge chunk of points and then I, I thought, well, okay, I'll unlock everything now. And that was stupid. I should have really filled out the collection log more so than I have because it was a lot quicker. I mean, hard scrolls as well. I, I just went to the uh, Musa points, right? Set up my crystal of memories there and teleported anywhere else I needed. And it was just a piece of cake getting them done. I, again, I did get a lot of collection log tasks done, but not enough, not as much as you could take advantage of. 
right? So again, if you were to start today with 40 days left or whatever it is, even 30 days left, right, within the next week, I would just get Treasure Seeker and I would burn through Clue Scrolls. Now that might not be the most fun or entertaining thing, but again, if you're going to make this push for the Dragon Cup, there is logic to, to thinking things through and planning. Again, you can go and you can do all the intensive things or you can try and play it smart. So yeah, I do think skilling in the collection log, if you were to add up the points, would get you fairly close to the Dragon Cup and then you just have to do a little bit of bossing. So then that comes back to, well, what areas do you pick? Again, easy, easy to think about and decide, right? Well, if you pick Mauritania, you're gonna have to do a lot of Theory of Blood. Theory of Blood is time intensive and uh, skill intensive and click intensive. So don't pick it if, if, again, you're doing this as the average man in, in a time consensus. You know, I would take, I wouldn't take the desert if I was just doing this a bit more casually than what I am doing. I'd probably just take Kandorit. So as Garnia, I know you still have to do God Wars, but God Wars is not as difficult as, well, doing any of the raids. Because again, a lot of the points are gonna be locked behind raids, 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 and gauntlet. I don't know about the wilderness. I suppose the wilderness would also be fairly easy, but I'm pretty sure it's been revamped, I think. I think I've seen posts here and there. But yeah, I think the, the easiest route of areas would probably be Kandor and Fremnik and Asgarnia, right? With all the perks of uh, the relics, the Dagonoths are not gonna be hard. The God Wars, also not gonna be that hard. Again, if you take a Berserker and Undying Retribution, you can you could just nuke them every three minutes. It's still gonna take time and effort, but again, it is a lot easier than doing raids. Now points, again, there are 91,000 points available. I need 56,000, right? So I can avoid a decent chunk of tasks. If we look at the majority of them as say 200 point tasks, cause they're the really grindy ones, then I can avoid what? Uh, 100, 200, 200. I can avoid, no, sorry, I can avoid 150 tasks. Did I do the math right? 150 times 200? No, yes. 10 would be, yeah, 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 I did it right. So I can avoid 150 bossing tasks, right? That's that's a lot of tasks I can avoid. Now, of course, there's some 400.1, so you know, halve that. But again, I can go do the the Runite Ore Fragment. That's not hard. All I have to do is I can just die to it if, if I want, because all I have to do is I have to mine it. Uh, there are a lot of easier skilling tasks. Forestry, I have no idea what's going on there and how to get everything, so I guess that's kind of hard. But like doing the Abyssal Scythe 300 times, that's going to take a lot of time and effort. So if you think about it and you plan it out and you don't go for what necessarily is fun, right? You can make a solid push for the Dragon Cup. Now, if you obviously just want fun, which is the main thing of leagues, then go nuts. You can still do a solid effort of getting a high tier cup. It might not be the Dragon Cup, but you can make a solid effort. Again, skilling is going to get you to most likely adamant, right? At the very least, through skilling and all the normal casual stuff you do. Easily mithril. And that's still a lot of points to spend in the, the reward store and do what you want. But I do think the Dragon Cup is achievable with the right plan. And that's, again, the whole reason I restarted because I did want to plan things out. I wanted to do, do things in a lot more thought out way. I mean, I think to get this relic, I've shaved off a day's worth of playtime. I think uh, we ended the other, the other accounts on four days total. And this one's going to end on three days. So that is obviously fantastic to, to speed up by a whole day. And obviously you can then go and you can watch people who grinded everything out and did a lot quicker. I am not going to do anything intense. I'm not going to do anything insane. I'm not going to spend four hours straight playing. I am average, right? I'm pretty sure I can say that. So yeah, this is my average man's journey. I will obviously have to put in more time than most, but that time is not going to be active play like what you're going to see a lot of people do. Anyway, I just wanted to, to do this as sort of a touch base and to, again, say thank you for the traction the other video got. But yeah, there are definitely easier, easy ways to gain a lot of points in leagues. It doesn't have to be what you see everyone else do. Again, it's just an overall, do you want to do things logically? Uh, or do you want to, you know, just have fun? If you just want to have fun, then don't worry about the points. Don't worry about the cup. Just enjoy your time with leagues. Enjoy all the crazy shenanigans. But, right, if you want the Dragon Cup, 
If you want to be just a casual person going for it, then you do have to go down the skilling route. That is your best possible option because you can turn a lot of the skills into non, you know, intensive activities. PVMing is by far the most time consuming and click intensive activities within the game. So you want to do your best to try and avoid them if you are going down the route I'm going. Now, obviously I'm gonna throw tombs in there because I've taken the desert, but overall, I, I still think this is the casual approach, if you will, to aiming for the Dragon Cup. I still think it is highly doable. Again, just getting everything to 99 and those 50 mil. I'm already at 14,880, right? I can chuck an extra 18,000 points just from maxing all the skills. So I'm already at 32. You then throw in all the other, you know, casual grinds like Craft X, Do X. I mean, the crazy one for the desert, looking at the list, is the uh, Infinity Robes from Mage Arena, or, and in fact, all the stuff from Mage Arena. That there are sizable amount of points just from doing that, and it's not going to take that long with the multiplier, right? And it's free magic experience. So equip any pieces already 200 points. The full set is 400 points. And then what do we have? We have the book somewhere. Oh, God, I don't like that they're out of order. Somewhere. But yeah, it's the one book and do, 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 what's the other one? Bones features, right? There's easily a thousand points just in the major arena. And if you, again, break it down and think about what you have to do, then you are going to have an easier time. It just takes planning, right? It takes planning to know, well, I can, I can spend this time pickpocketing, but really I'd be much better, you know, writing down, these are the tasks I'm gonna go for. I have an hour to play. These are the tasks I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do them, All right? Anyway, we'll leave it there. Uh, yeah, so the next video out will be a jump backwards and will probably just be me clearing a lot of different tasks. Hope you enjoy. See ya.